It is hot in here. What's up guys, it's Will McKinson and welcome back to my channel. If you cannot tell, I have a whole new lighting situation. I am so excited, but it is hot. I need a fan in here, but I'm afraid that like, you're gonna hear it anyway. So I'm gonna make this video really, really quick. <laughs> I have a wonderful haul I wanna share with you guys, so let's hop straight into it. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. My name is Will McKason, and I am welcoming you with warm arms, whether you're just breezing by or if you are a new subscriber, and to my return subscribers, what is going on, guys? And let me say, since we're talking about subscribers, I decided a couple of months ago that I was gonna let the idea go of like reaching a certain amount of subscribers, right? Because it's not about having subscribers, it's about having a platform, connecting with like-minded people. So I was like, I don't care if I have five followers or 500 followers, but, Someone DM me on Instagram and said, I remember when you first started your channel and I came across it and you had like 35 followers and now you have 450 something or something like that. So I do want to say while the number is not important, I do notice the growth in my channel and thank you to each and every one of you who like, who comment, and obviously who subscribe. It means so much to me. So I just want to take this time out to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Second order of business, I just want to send my heart out to the people in Houston and the surrounding areas and anyone who's been affected by Hurricane Harvey. If you have family members there or just, I feel like we've all been affected. Watching the footage is just heartbreaking. So my heart goes out to you, Houston. Um, we're all with you. And you know, guys, whatever you can do to support, you know, do your research before you send money out to someone who claims to be supporting Harvey. Definitely support where you can. And if you can't support for whatever reason, just keep them in your prayers. So again, Houston, we love you. Next order of business, on that vlog I shared with you guys when I went to Pennsylvania for the Lights Festival, if you didn't see it, I will leave the link below. You have to watch that video. Not so much about the vlog, but the one minute clip that I shared with you guys, what the experience of the Lights Fest was about. It was just so, unbelievable and I'm so thankful that I was able to witness an event like that and every opportunity I can I will go back again if I could there's actually one coming up in Pennsylvania I believe in October and I'm already calling people like do you want to go anybody want to go like it's, it's just so amazing and I wish that I can get as many people as possible to experience something like that so again I will link the video down below I digress so we were in stop and shop picking up some last little odds and ends before we got on the road and as we were walking down the aisle, I hear someone say what I thought I heard, say, you two, like, hey, you two. So we both turned around like, us two what? And the person's like, no, you two. And I'm like, what? And the person said, YouTube, you're on YouTube. I'm a fan. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Now keep in mind, the person who I'm with, it's our first time meeting. So he's looking at me like, you're on YouTube? Like, are you famous or something? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not famous, but I do have a YouTube channel. So at any rate, I approached the young lady and she was super sweet. Um, she says, I follow your channel. And she goes, I'm a fan. So I said, do you have a YouTube channel? And she says, no, but here's my Instagram. And she's scrolling through and showing me her amazing Chanel collection, her amazing Louis collection, and just all of her luxury things. And I said, you need to have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and she says, I know, but I haven't just kind of gone into it, but I was thinking about it. So here's her Instagram handle right here. Annie on a good day. I need you guys to find her, follow her, and encourage her to uh, start a YouTube channel. She's super sweet and like her energy was just great. So when we left Stop and Shop, I go right in the car because I wasn't driving and I start DMing her and I'm like, um, so about that YouTube channel, <laughs> I'm going to stay on top of you. So I am staying on top of you. Um, definitely do that. We would love to share your amazing luxury collection on YouTube. Second order of business, I was on her Instagram page and I saw she got into a car accident. My heart goes out to you and wishing you a very very speedy recovery and um i'm just so thankful that you survived so um yeah sending much love out to you and that's pretty much it so guys keep everyone i just mentioned houston any on a good day and anyone else going through something whether it's you your family members let's just come together and just 
ask for healing and for, you know, a world full of happiness. <laughs> um, at any rate, I have an amazing haul for you guys. I am so excited to share every single thing with you. I got off of work yesterday. I hit Marshalls. I hit the Short Hills Mall. I hit Neiman Marcus, Louis Vuitton, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So, so I had quite the day at work yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I need some retail therapy to nurse me back to good health. Um, so I popped into Marshalls first and I came across this book. I love coffee table books. I love reading about fashion and, and history and you know who was over which you know fashion house and over the years and everything. So I just love the, the history in all of these books. So in Marshalls I came across this book Dior by Avedon and it was $79. The original price was like $120 or something like that. So I found that super, super excited about that. I'm interested in reading up about that. And the next thing that I picked up is the, it's huge guys. This is the Prada Sphere book and it looks like that. Um, this was originally $100. I got this for $50 at Marshall's Steel. Uh, it comes in this really, really nice cover here. It's like a, a hard cover. The book is on the inside. Again, ginormous. So I'm excited for that as well. Marshalls always has really, really amazing coffee table books as of late. I used to get mine from Amazon for really, really good prices, but lately I've been seeing a lot of them in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. Those are my stores. I just, I absolutely love those stores. So that's the first two things that I picked up. Um, the second place I went to was this store called Nipe. I think it's called Nipe. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I, w I popped in there and I fell in love. They have so many amazing products in there. Everything's natural for the most part. Um, not tested on any animals or anything. No parabens, no sulfates, all that stuff. So the first thing that I picked up was this body oil, Argana Marula, Marula. It's so amazing. I tested some on my hands, super, super smooth, and it hydrates you without you feeling greasy. I'm so excited to use it. And this is vegan. I'm not sure if the whole store is vegan. I will research more and let you know once I do a review in their products, but the stuff I tried out was amazing. I also picked up body wash. I picked up um, Mei Chang and lemon and watermelon and mint. And you guys, I am not a watermelon person, but this watermelon smells so freaking good. Like I just, it's insane, like how good this smells. And I typically go with lemon scents. So this Mei Chang and lemon, it's not super zesty. It's just the right amount of lemon. It's really, really nice, guys. I believe these were $14. I don't know where I put the receipt, but I definitely, definitely am, think I'm gonna love the body washes. And the next thing that I picked up, as you guys know, I work in a hospital, so I'm constantly washing my hands, constantly looking for new hand creams. And this is their hand cream soft in seconds. It's lemon verbena and avocado butter. Now, this does not leave your hands greasy at all, but it gets your hands super soft, like, like that. And so I picked this little hand cream up to keep in my bag. And I remember how I said I didn't know if everything was vegan? It looks like everything on the bottom says vegan on their products. Everything that I've been looking at says vegan, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is a vegan line. And the very last thing that I picked up is their foot care repair butter with calendula and orange. And when I tested this in the store, I could tell it was gonna be hydrating and I think it's gonna be reparative. I have not used it again. I will do a little review on it once I use it, but I am so excited to try this. And that's pretty much all that I picked up. Oh, here's the receipt. Ah! This is not the receipt. Here's the receipt. My long receipt. So the repair, the foot repair butter was $22. The Beauty Secret Oil was $22. The body washes, like I said, were $14. The hand cream was $10. And I got 5% off for joining their Knight family. So it's a really, really awesome company. Um, I got a card and they give you like a welcome to the Knight family, like this little thing here. 
and I believe her name was Brittany who helped me. She was so sweet. She gave me, look at that guys. She gave me like a billion samples. I, I mean, there's so much I've got. The body oil samples, I got body more body wash samples, massage oil, 24 hour face cream. I mean, you name it, she gave me tons of samples. So the experience was great. I'm so excited to try everything. Look them up. I'm not being sponsored by them. They don't pay me, but I was just so wowed by the experience. I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so the next order of business, I popped into Neiman Marcus. And yes, I went to Joe Malone. Um, I had always said I wish that there was a Joe Malone store, like a freestanding store. And I always would have to go to the city or something. And then it dawned on me, hello, they're in Neiman Marcus. So I popped up there. I really went to Neiman Marcus for one thing, um, again, which I will get into in a few minutes. But I went to Neiman Marcus. They didn't have what I was looking for in the Louis Vuitton. So I popped over to Jo Malone because I needed some new candles and room things. And while she was packaging everything up, I went to Louis upstairs in the mall, came back downstairs, and she had all of this wrap for me. Her name is Jeannie. If you find yourself in the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey, in Neiman Marcus, Jeannie was absolutely amazing. Like, I loved her. So the very first thing comes in this bag here, which says Joe Malone. And when you remove the ribbon, take out the tissue paper. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's just a black box that says Joe Malone. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I'm in love with their packaging. Um, and this is, oh, this is the Oud and Bergamot candle. It comes with a candle care card there, which says Joe Malone. On the back, it just tells you how to take care of your candle, obviously. And, this little beauty here it comes in this black glass and guys oh my gosh it this smells so good so i used to wear armani attitude before it came out in 2007 it was like my fragrance and it just went away one day out of nowhere i thought it was doing well it went away so I've never been able to find anything close to that scent. So when I smelled this candle, I was like, oh my gosh, that's my Armani Attitude fragrance right there in a candle. And then she told me that they had a fragrance, which was $180. So I said, let me try the candle first and see how I like it, although I feel like I'm gonna like it. I should have just purchased the, perf the cologne when I was there, but I do have a sample of it. So this is the candle it smells so good it is really really good so that is the first thing that i picked up and i'm so excited to burn this tonight and the next thing that i picked up came in this bag here so in this bag there's two boxes these are the two boxes here ah this is the lime basil and mandarin diffuser guys this seriously smells so good I should have just got the whole line in this and the oud and bergamot. It, this is just beyond. And she said that the, the diffusers last, up, I think, four to five months. This does come with a diffuser card and it comes with 10 diffuser sticks. Um, she said that if it's a smaller room, that you only have to use like three or four. If you're trying to use this in a larger room, then you will up the amount of sticks that you put in there ultimately reaching 10 if need be if it's a really really huge room this smells so good if you get the chance go and smell all of these products that i picked up it's my personal scent but they this smells so so good and fresh and the next box is this and inside of this oh this is the it's called lino nel vento i probably said it in a, in a spanish accent and this is definitely like from the uk london so yeah nino nel vento and this is a linen spray, so guys, I think it's lavender um, that's in this. Like, spray it on your pillow before you go to bed, and it is sweet dreams for you. Oh my gosh, it smells so, 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 so good. I must say, so Jeannie told me that, she said, you know, do you want to wait for these items, and maybe I can ship them to you in a couple days because there's a big sale at Neiman Marcus, and there's a promotion going on and you can get like this tote bag that has like all of this like tchotchke stuff in it and i was like nah so she said well what i will do is give you this little 
pouch here that has a couple of goodies in it. Inside of this pouch, you have the English Pear and Freesia Body Cream, which is, I do like the English Pear. It's really, really nice. Then you have the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body and Hand Wash. And the last thing is the Basil and Neroli Cologne. So I'm not really a big fan of those, but I will, the pair, I'm sorry, the English pair I like, but the other two I'm kind of on the fence about, but I will try those. So thank you, Jeannie, for giving those to me. And then she also gave me, there's a new line coming out called English Oak Scents. So she gave me two samples of that. She also gave me Vitamin E Gel from Dro Malone, a sample of that. And she then gave me, I like the Nectarine Blossom and Honey, so, huh, honey, she actually gave me, look at all this, guys, she gave me so many samples that are going to last me forever. I'm going to be able to take these on vacations with me, so again, thank you, Jeannie, so much for that. The very last package here, this is for my mom, she already knows what it is, I picked it up, so Jeannie put an extra bow on it, um, I thought that was really sweet of her. And, again, because my mother knows what it is, she said I can unbox it with you guys. So this, it comes with this bow here. I always struggle opening things on camera with you guys. More tissue paper. And this is how she packaged my mother's item. And I picked up my mother the pomegranate noir candle. Initially, I was going in looking for candles for myself, but my mother is so amazing to me, and I figure I really wanted this for myself, and I was like, I can get it for her, and um, I'll just get one for myself at a later date, but this candle, the pomegranate noir, guys, smells so good. So once I'm done with my oud and bergamot, I'm going to pick this one up for myself, probably. This is a really, really, really nice scent. Um, so yeah, that is the last thing I got. And again, she was so amazing. She gave me all these samples from my mother. English pear and freesia. There's the nectarine blossom and honey. There's the peony and blush suede. Blackberry and bay. I mean, thank you, thank you, Jeannie, again so much. My mother. I popped in to Louis Vuitton. So let me give you this rundown really, really quickly. I pop in there because I actually want to sell my two four key holders and the monogram canvas and Dami Eben. I know that I just got them revarnished. If you saw that vlog that I did about the repairs, if not, I'll leave that below. I was like, you know, I really do want the six key holders. So I said, I'm not going to get the six key holders until I sell those two, which I wound up consigning them. So I popped into Neiman's to find, to see if they had it nothing nothing so they send me upstairs I go upstairs to the store inside the mall to see my girl Cheryl and everybody and they're like we don't have it either in the Dami Eben or the monogram canvas no six key holders they had like one clay like the monogram pochette the clay they had one of those and I'm like what is going on so I said okay whatever so I go back downstairs after I picked up my um, my Joe Malone stuff and I go into the Louis Vuitton, I'm meeting a new sales associate. Oh, he's super, super nice. Um, so while I was looking around, I said, what is going on? Like, you guys have no monogram, like, SLGs in here. And I, he said, I said, you know what the rumor mill is saying? And he's like, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. And I said, so what are you saying? And he said, you know, it's been really hard to get monogram or canvas pieces in here. He said, we used to have an abundance of them. And as of late, you know, we have maybe have one or two pieces. So he's like, I don't know what's going on, but we're getting a lot of leather in. So without saying, he kind of just verified all of the things that we're hearing that they do want to push towards selling more leather handbags. So whatever. With that said, there was something that I saw and I said, you know what? Let me grab it. It was the very last one in the store. I said, let me grab it while I have the opportunity to. I picked up. It comes in the dust bag like that. The item that I picked up is the round coin purse in the monogram. I just had to get it. I mean, I felt like they're rationing off SLGs. I'm like, let me grab it before I won't be able to get it. Um, and, and he was really nice. He said, you will be able to get the pieces online, but he's like in the store. So again, like I said, this is the round coin purse. That's what it looks like there on the inside. It is two pieces of monogram canvas. The Vaqueta leather is on the bottom there. And I'm going to use this to, to house 
my wires for my cell phone, my headphones, and you know, or maybe sometimes I'll use it for change, who knows. But I wanted to grab this, just like, oh, it's one of those things you think it's always there, you'll get it whenever. But since things are changing, times are changing, I figured I'd pick one up. And I told Laz from our review at all, I did tell him on his Instagram picture, I said I picked up something because I saw it, I did see it in his picture, and I said I need to get one of those, so to Laz, Thank you for posting that picture, and if you guys know him and follow his channel, just send him lots of love and um, a speedy recovery for him as well. So that is that. And so I got these three items, and I was going to just kind of sneak it in my, it's in my collection and not share it with you guys, but I was like, you know what? I'm doing a collective haul, so there's other things in the video, so it won't seem so bad. So I was up to no good. I was on Fashion File, and... I came across these items, guys. It just went crazy. What are the odds that all three of them were on there at the same time? So you guys know that I do love the Epi Leather by Louis Vuitton. So when this beauty was on there, I was like, I have to get it. And I'm referring to the port document in this black Epi. So let me say something. My holy girl piece, like for what you females, you guys love the Chanel double flap, whatever. That's your holy grail piece. For me, the Christopher Messenger bag by Louis Vuitton, it's like about $3,000. And I'm like, oh my God, but it's this black Epi Messenger bag. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So when I saw this, I'm like, so this will be like me getting closer to my um, Chanel bag, but my Louis Vuitton Christopher Messenger bag. The price on this was a steal. It was around 300 something dollars. And I'm like, why, why would I not get that? Why? Why would I not buy this? I think it was $3.95. So, it has the gold hardware, which I love these older bags that have the gold hardware. This is in pristine condition. It has the luggage tag here that says Louis Vuitton Paris, um, made in France. And I'm just in love with this. Like, if it's a day, like, I'm going to Starbucks and I want to, like, have on my trench coat, my rain boots, and I'm going to throw my laptop in this bag and just go, oh my gosh, I am so excited for this and you guys know that I am totally loving my MM agenda so this happened to be on there as well this is the MM agenda in the black epi this one has the silver hardware though it is a newer version and whoever had it before me had they left some of the Louis Vuitton paper in there but guys look at that this is in amazing amazing condition so I picked that up and lastly this item here it came in the dust bag and it is the epi six ring agenda in the color noir once I picked this up I was like yep I'm getting rid of my four key holders and I'm gonna go team six ring I am team six ring you know why because and I've heard it before but I just kind of like paid it no mind you can totally throw a card like cards in here so as opposed to grabbing my four key holder and my clay I can just grab this if I'm running to the gym or running to the grocery store throw I can just throw my license and my debit card or credit card here have my keys here and I'm out of the door so this is what really sold me on getting those six key holder, which I can't find anywhere. I'm gonna have to get them online. Here we go again. Um, but I'm gonna get them this week before. I won't be able to find them. I got all these amazing Epi pieces and you guys know my love affair with Epi. So it's just understated, it's very classic, it's clean. So I'm happy. And like I said, I sold my two six ring agendas. Ah, I keep saying agendas. I sold my two four key holders and the monogram canvas and the Damien E. Ben and I will be getting the six key holders. I said it right this time. I'll be getting the six key holders and monogram canvas and Damien E. Ben within the week hopefully. And then guys, I am going to finally do what so many people have messaged me about, which is my 2017 SLG collection. I wanted to make sure that it was exactly where I wanted to be before I filmed the video. So once those two pieces come in, look out for that video. And I think that is it. I've made this video long enough. I hope you like this video, my collective haul. And if you have any questions about anything, you know what to do. Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.